decided to start getting my training happening for the six foot track marathon in March next year. And it feels awesome. Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron World Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. So there are some key differences in general running and marathon training to doing an ultra and or trail run, which what I'm doing is an ultra trail run. So it's ultra meaning it's longer than a marathon, 45 kilometers, and trail meaning it's not on paved surfaces. And therefore the sort of training that you would do for a road marathon is not really the sort of training you should be doing for a trail run. You need to be doing, uh, you still need to do the long distance runs, maybe the speed runs, that sort of same similar sessions, but you should also be doing off-roady sort of sessions. So running on non-paved surfaces, non-flat surfaces, surfaces that you need to actually look at your footing and figure out where you're going to run and how you're going to run it without falling over. So that's what a lot of my training is going to be, is uh, exploring new spots, trying to figure out how can I incorporate off-road running as much as possible. Also climbs and dips, very important. Uh, six foot track marathon, there is a significant amount of uh, climbing, you're going through uh, mountains essentially, so you need to be able to be okay with going up and down, both on paved, unpaved, and also stairs. So I'll be doing a bit of stair running as well, up and down, trying to just get myself used to the idea of doing inclines and declines as much as possible, off-road as much as possible. It's going to be a good fun few months. Although one thing you've got to watch out for in Australia, especially New South Wales at the moment, uh, we've had a lot of bushfires, which uh, you may have heard about overseas. And as such, the air quality in certain areas isn't the greatest. Uh, so if you are prone to asthma or other respiratory issues, you should probably watch out on the days that you're running. Make sure that the smoke content in the air isn't too much. Um, there have been some days here where I, I've taken photos and videos where the sky is orange. You, it's crazy, uh, but it's the sort of thing which it happens every now and again in Australia. It is really bad at the moment. And the people who make a massive impact in all of this, the people that help protect the homes, and that help protect the people, and I want to give a quick shout out to them, it's uh, all the fireys, especially, so especially the Rural Fire Service, uh, or the RFS. Those guys and girls and everyone as part of it are amazing. They put their lives on the line every day to make sure that these fires are put out and everyone is safe try and save as much as possible. And a lot of the RFS are actually volunteers. So they're not even being paid to go out and fight these fires. They do it in their spare time. So that is just amazing. You can actually help out with these bushfires that are happening in Australia. There are certain places where you can donate. Um, there's a whole ton of places where you can donate to all things related to the bushfires. But the main one would probably be to donate to the Rural Fire Service in some way. Um, I will leave a link in the description box below. So yeah, massive thanks to all the fireys and everyone who is helping out with the bushfires and general fires that are happening here in New South Wales and Queensland at the moment. Today the air quality is not too bad actually. It's pretty good. That's why I thought, stuff it, I'm going out for the run. Although I haven't been running whew, extended distances for a little while, so Oh, where am I? I can't get through here. All right. So I'm not going to do too much today. I'm currently up to four kilometers. Probably going to do a grand total of about six and slowly ramp it up as I keep going. I've got to try and find as many trail run sort of areas as possible. Or if you can't find a trail run, make it into a trail run. Go, as me and a friend of mine from high school, we used to call it going the adventurous way. So instead of taking the normal steps, you climb over the fence 
climb under things, climb around things. In this case, you're going the adventurous way. So where there's the bay run, which I used to run all the time, this is sort of an offset and everything I've been running today is just a little bit off the track of the bay run, but it's still sort of part of the bay run. So very awesome. It's a great way to discover the area that you're in. And I'm really looking forward to discovering a whole bunch of new areas. Thanks for watching. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.